Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, you'll learn in how to customize templates in Zuho Invoice. So the first thing that we should do is we have to open any of our web browser and then using the search bar at the top, just type out zuho.com. Okay, so just type out Zuho Invoice if you cannot find the website. Then just click on this first website right here. Okay, and then the next thing you should do is to sign up for an account. Then after that, just click on access Zuho invoice. And then just have to wait for a couple of seconds and you'd be directed to your dashboard. Then right here for step number one is how do you want your invoice to look like? Okay, so I'm just checking my account. So here is you just have to pick a template that suits your business and customize it to reflect your branding. Okay, so this is for step number one and for step number two is how do you want to receive payment. Of course, you have to set up this one and then make the most of Zuho invoice. Okay, so now the next thing that you should do is to click on the settings icon or the gear icon at the top right. And then scroll down until you can see the PDF templates. So this one, just simply click on the PDF template. And then right here, you'd be able to see this invoice template. So just make sure to select the invoice. We also have codes, sales receipts, payment receipts, and customer statement. But for this one, we are going to select invoices. Okay, so we have here this template and then just you can also click on the new option Okay, so just click on this one to add new template. So we have here different templates that we can use So for standard we have this one. We have spreadsheet premium universal and retail Okay, so you can also see the name of each template below Okay, so here this is a standard Japanese style, standard European style, and more. So for this video, I think I'm going to use the standard Japanese style. So you just have to click on use this. Okay, and then select your language and then click on use this once again. So right here we can now start customizing this invoice. So at the left side we have here the general header and footer. We also have the transactional details. We also have table, total, and then the other details. So let's start with the general. So right here for our template name. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this one as it is. And then for the paper size, we can change it to A5, A4, or letter. Okay, so we also have here the orientation, which are the portrait and landscape. I think I'm just going to use the portrait. And then if you would like to adjust the margins, so just go here, tap, bottom, left, and right. Then if you would like to include payment stub, so just make sure to click on this box right here. And then for the font, we have here the font style for the PDF. So if you want to change this one, just simply click on this option. Next, for the label color. So if you would like to change the label color, you just have to go here to the color section and then click on apply. Next is for the font color. So I'm going to leave this one as it is. But for the font size, I'm going to type out 9. And then here for the background, if you'd like to change the color of the background, so just go here and then select your new background color. Okay, so let me just use this one right here. So I think this one is good. And then just click on apply. Okay, so next one is the header and footer. So for the background image, for the header, we can choose from desktop or choose from gallery. So here, if you have your own image, so just click on choose uh, from desktop. Then we also have here a pre-photo um, or images that we can use. Next, for the image position, you can select here top left, 
it, we also have um, top center and more now for the background color if you want to change this one just simply click on the color option and then just have to select your color and click on apply next you just have to click on apply to first page only if you want this one and for the footer okay so we also have here the font size the font color the background image so let me just add here a background image so i'm going to use this one next for the image position we are going to put this at the top left okay and then let's try to preview this one if we choose the right color so i think the background color is a bit dark and some of the text are not so clear so we are going to change the color of the background okay so let me just go back to the general okay so i'm going to adjust this one first okay so let's go back to the general section and then click on the background color and i think it's better to use a lighter one since the color of our fonts are darker okay i think this one is better let us now proceed to the organization details here we can upload our files we can also change the color the font size and more we also have here the customer name so you can also toggle the switch on for build to option and then for the ship to if we want to include this one as well now for the table we have the settings so here we can customize the item name and description so we have here custom fields, quantity, rate, tax, tax amount, discount amount, and invoices created from projects. Next one is the total section. Okay, so we can also customize this once again. And for the document summary or the other details, we also have your notes the label the font size and more and if you would like to include signature then you can upload your files right here and type out the signature name and then for the additional signature so the label for this one is receiver signature and then just have to upload their file right here okay so once everything is done just have to refresh and review and if you think this invoice is good to go so just have to simply click on the save option at the top right and then click on the settings or the gear icon and then make sure to click on set as default so that's it for this video if you think this video helped you solve your concern please subscribe like this video and leave your comment below bye